Well, this sucks, doesn't it? Got a claw mighty. Only eleven men. Some block guards. It's not that bad actually. Is it? Nurgle are pretty rubbish. <laughs> Nurgle are actually pretty rubbish. This isn't that bad. Wizard. Or apple. Seems he's got a claw mighty. He hasn't got a great ball carrier or anything. Born a babe. Even though babe's sexist now. It's a keg. It's a Bloodweiser keg. Yeah, not having the not having the guard is a <laughs> is a bit costly, isn't it? When I'm blitzing with my mighty blow guy he's doing nothing. But two strength five is good. Law mighty. Yeah, that, that's the point, right? But a Bloodwiser babe making your guys recover from chaos implies that she's doing it <laughs> herself somehow. <laughs> Whereas a Bloodwiser keg <laughs> makes it clear that it's the beer that's doing the work. <laughs> oh, I fucking type and it made me, made me kick by accident. I mean, I would have kicked, but... Still annoying. <laughs> this seems all right, doesn't it? The strength five guys can be on the line or not. Easy switch. You could get um you could get you could get like eleven rotters. Oh god yeah, rotters are pretty good, aren't they? For cheapness. Three eight five and that's your team, just eleven rotters. And then you're like Morg Borak <laughs> and just hammer people. <laughs> That would be funny, wouldn't it? 600 inducements. Just get Morgan Borak. Yeah, of course, Jehanian. Yeah, like they're like zombies, so of course, they, they, thematically, they should have been nudged too, yeah. <laughs> I know it implies that humorous chimp, but there's also, there's a bit of, there's a bit of being silly, isn't there, that you can say that. Yeah, Rodder's being so cheap is actually pretty good for min-maxing things like that. Underworld seem amazing, genuinely amazing. Really good. It's just a shame for them that dwarves exist, otherwise Underworld would be super good. I don't think they'd be broken at all, if you know. I mean, they'd be better than zombies though, wouldn't they? Because they'd be... It'd be movement five, so they'd just be better than zombies. So I guess they would be broken in that regard. <laughs> yeah, it is a shame for everyone that dwarves exist, yeah. Hey, not dead yet! Yeah. 
Underwater are amazing, literally amazing. It's just a shame. It's just a real shame. Oh god, he's got block. It's just a real shame that they're, that dwarves exist, otherwise they'd be amazing. Like, they'd be genuinely amazing. Because, like, they get 14 players on the pitch, potentially, which is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good having 14 players on the field, isn't it? Even if three of them are snotlings. Who cares? It's ridiculous having 14 players. On the field. And okay, you'll normally won't have 14, you'll normally just have less than 14. But still, still super good. Yeah, and if people blitz them, so what? They're not blitzing a player who's real. <laughs> Tony. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! I won't say by far. I mean, lizards are really good. There's a, dwarves get the cheapest rebuy option, don't they? That's the thing. Like that's that's the main power of dwarves that they get the sweetest rebuy deal. They can rebuy with uh, like everything for like nine fifty or something. Whereas dark elves are going to be eleven fifty, and lizards are going to be eleven fifty. So that they can potentially keep people for more seasons and uh, just, you know, get more skills and stuff. But if there's no rebuy, then it's totally different. Or if the seasons are super long or whatever. So it's, it's all changes depending on, on the rebuys and everything. But yeah, they never passed it there. Now they can easily get plus moving for their runners. So they're not affected by the passing changes at all. I wish I had a wizard now. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Wish I'd got him. Wish I'd got him when he had ten less SPPs. <laughs> <laughs> First things first. Getting pushed. That's really essential, isn't it?
The Dubler GFI. Is that a good idea? I guess not particularly, I could just move him in there. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do a million dodges there to get that. But then I will get both guys in. Seems a bit pointless. Just get him in here, it works, doesn't it? Yeah, it's really, really weird, isn't it? The uh, dwar dwarves do seem. What's amazing is that somebody about as good as Blood Bowl as, as Fault Force wanted to make dwarves strong and actually managed it. <laughs> like, you know, that's that itself is an achievement, isn't it? Normally, you'd expect these people to to mess up trying to make their chosen faction better, but unfortunately. He seems to have been just competent enough to make dwarves super powerful. <laughs> yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah. That's how they would have really buffed them, given them anim animal savagery. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, it'd be they, they made passing worse because dwarves don't do it. They made leaping worse because dwarves don't do it. They, <laughs> they increased the cost of everybody else, but not dwarves. But it's still impressive that they managed to do what they wanted. Because, you know, some people think animal savagery is above. So, you know. They did make leaping worse, yeah. It's, it's hard to explain. <laughs> but for a war dancer, it would be a three plus leap into or out of two tackle zones or one. But in a three, it would be a minor. It would be a four plus dodge in a four plus leap in a three tackle zones, or out of three. Okay, I'm stunned. Good. Obviously, stunned not great, but at least he didn't fucking die. They wouldn't have had a lot of time away in their hours of testing, would they? <laughs> they're literal... <laughs> they're literal uh, hour or two of testing. That's a pretty good result for him, actually. That's a pretty good result for him. <laughs> oh, that's a worse result for him. No, I guess he just doesn't follow. Hmm. 
So that's okay for him then. <laughs> Yeah, do you reckon? Do you reckon he'd just scored early? Well, at least now I can't defend at all because he's just stunned everybody. So I've got that going for me. Does he get hit by Mighty Blow? I guess he's going to get hit by Mighty Blow anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Apparently it was the Naf clique was, uh, was heavily involved. So, you know, it should be people who are at least good at Blood Bowl. But maybe they just didn't care about leagues and stuff, and they only cared about, you know the tournaments they played on people their level, you know, who knows, you just don't know, do you, you, you don't know how, how, uh, how people think, do you, and how, like, how they think about other people and everything, because, like, you know, for instance, Krista made a, made a rule, suggested a rule that he thought for redrafting and stuff, and I was like, I don't think, I think that punishes people who don't win. Which wouldn't affect me because if <laughs> first of all I wouldn't play on fumble anyway. But even if I did, I'd win. I'd win plenty of games and it'd be all right. But um, I just thought you know you don't want to make it crap for people who don't win very much. But other people wouldn't be like that. Other people would be like, I'll win, so I won't. I don't care, wouldn't they? You know. So just because someone's good at blood ball, it doesn't mean that they're going to be nice. <laughs> doesn't mean they're going to be Mister Nice, does it? Just getting beaten to shit. <laughs> it's really hard when just all your players are knocked over all the time, isn't it? The stuns just mean that you can't get anything going. Dirty player foul, getting a removal instantly. It's tough. <laughs> no, Jahini, I didn't say that at all, did I? Don't be an idiot. <laughs> but it can make you more disconnected from how most people will view the rules. You know? Oh yeah, the, I think I turned off the whole. Yeah, I think I turned off the whole thing first. Then I turned off the text, text to speech. Then stop. Then put right. I think what I did was I turned off the alert first so that it wouldn't matter, and then I think I turned it back on. I turned the text to speech off, but then forgot to turn it back on. Right. <laughs> I think it should be all right now. This was five days ago, or oh, 23 minutes ago. Eh? Oh, bleeding hit me re some 28 minutes ago, I didn't see it. It's not coming up, I don't know how to do anything. Oh god, I'm sick of this guy fouling. <laughs> Damn it. One 
some GFI on. From there, so we can't assist, I guess. Hey. Actual armor break, outrageous. Very tricky. Yeah, sorry to anyone who subbed because I've just got no alert, no one without the alert going. I don't know why. Why the alert isn't working? It should be. It should be working now. Glorious. Here we no, go. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, mighty Bush, for resubbing for 22 months, 25 minutes ago. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. And Bleeding Hippie, 33 glorious. months. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. World's best race in Blood Bowl 3, Jim Sharp, it's true. And Bloody Greek, who's <laughs> every C word. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Yeah, so the whole team, thank you very much everybody. Um, so the whole team works out 50k more, so that you, you get a gimp start. But this team's still really good for when you redraft it. Team's still like 11.50 for the team. And then you just got a... And then you can whack some skills on top of that, so it's still good. It's just... Their start isn't so good. It's certainly like, I mean, it is a nerf, it is a nerf, because obviously they're 50k more. But your ideal team is 50k more. Or 60k, I guess, if you go three rerolls. So your ideal team is a bit more expensive. I mean, break tackle doesn't affect lizards, because we're not in rebel. Of course he gets the pal, motherfucker. <laughs> Another AV bro. Yeah, pretty fine. Can you just not fucking, like... If that hadn't been a knockdown, I'd get to block him and free him up and blitz around and get back in the th thick of things. But now it's not even an assist or anything, it's just horrible. So how, what's he got? He's got two assists. And I could have three assists. got to not follow so I don't just get reamed by fucking claw my ear. Maybe I've got to get in the way a bit. Okay. 
Because this way at least needs the power, shouldn't have gone right to the sideline, should have been there. Fucking fucked up there. Might as well go for the one -er. Hey. Fucked up, he should have been here. I can break through, can't I? God, imagine if he'd just done a 50, 50 dodge. That would have been incredible. Yeah, there was a good, good drive with everything in. And some naughty person had uh, posted. <laughs> I've probably, well, who knows? Who knows, Jahanian? I mean, oh, well, it was a leak, but we don't know who it was by. Like, it could have just been by Games Workshop, couldn't it? But it was. It was officially a leak. Oh. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Like, it's kind of frustrating getting stunned every turn. But at least they're not getting killed. Yeah, this was dumb giving him this hit, wasn't it? That was real dumb giving him the breakthrough, because it. it if he'd be, he could have hold the side, he couldn't have really push down the side, so I'll let him break through there. He's got tackle on two skins here. Can't free up my Saurus. This is pretty much guaranteed touchdown. Fuck. Interesting that he instantly uses reroll there. Should have moved that safe, should have done the safe move first, shouldn't he? Very interesting that he instantly rerolled it. That's annoying because it actually was a fucking block off for a Saurus, wasn't there? Stop making knockdowns and breaking AV every time, please. <laughs> oh, you motherfuck. Dodge it is. I figured we'd see the morning about passing a dice roll after every block being a knockdown and a stun. <laughs> <laughs>
God, this is so horrible. <laughs> it's not looking that bad though, is it? It's looking like a draw. Um, still got the apple for the second half. Like, it's looking like a draw is possible. Sorry, not looking like it's a draw. It's looking like a draw is possible. Um, currently. Currently, it looks like a draw is still possible. Um, haven't lost the game yet. Obviously, a win looks completely impossible. But. But draw. Wow, that was terrible. <laughs> wow. Imagine doing that GFI. Big yikes. No rerolls left. Incredibly. Skinks find a way. <laughs> Do 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 do. <laughs> I mean, probably not Squirrel Dude, right? Because of he's got half his team left to move. So it's a bit disingenuous to say that. <laughs> let's not let's not do a certain streamer's analysis of the turn. <laughs> If my opponent does literally nothing, this is looking pretty good. It is a dodge and double GFI though, right? For this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Can't dodge through there, can't chain anything. Through there. No. All we've got is the dodge 2D. I mean, I'll technically dodge with dodge, 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 but I think this is probably easy. I think it's probably easier, because you just, you're just going to fucking... Like, he hasn't got tackle and he's a loner, so it's not going to work. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> fuck off! Mother fuck! <laughs> no, this is with through tackle though. <laughs> right. Um Could have done more dodges away. Alright, 
was pretty good. Skinks. <laughs> Skinks find a way. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a bad result, is it? I mean, he might, he's got no rerolls, he still might get the ball and stuff. And still might score, but it was pretty funny, wasn't it? Rolling some dice. Yeah, the, the, the Saurus is pretty horrible, to be fair, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the good thing is no reroll, and here we go. Rerolling that GFI that he did, that he probably shouldn't have rerolled. Uh, up here, wasn't it, when he blocked? He, to be fair, it was blocking the path of the Saurus. But I think he should have moved the other moves first. And then he would have started to reroll for this. Yeah, that's the thing. Maximize them has got risks of its own, right? Because of the because of the no rerolls. So... It's a good question, Hotek. Um, I'd probably start with the Crocs and, and hope to not lose. Like, depending on the format and that. Probably just start with a start with the Crocs and hope to not lose, yeah. Just keep saying it. So he, he, he might get a decent bat scatter here, mightn't he? He might get a horrific scatter. But he might get a decent one. <laughs> That's a pretty horrific one for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's still got him left. Oh, shit, he can still score with him. Shit. It's not that bad a scatter. I thought he was going to have to do it with uh, Noble Warriors. Oh, fuck off. All the fucking dice. Hey! <laughs> Had a canoring oh, threat, God. shouldn't I? Nah, it was good having him there. That that was good having. I like oh. having, having him there. I did think about making him a canoring threat, but I think it was right to have him have him uh, upfield like that. Christ. <laughs> Come on, cousin. Peak blood ball, yeah. <laughs> Greed it. I'll skull and die now. Oh no, fail the foul appearance. Good. <laughs> Good, he's back. Alright, so all of a sudden, looks alright. No damage. Nil nil. Unfortunately, uh, the fucking, the, <laughs> yeah, right, okay. <laughs> right. 
I'm gonna do this now in the wrong time. Okay, I don't know why, but messages are don't, don't work. <laughs> oh, way to go, man, the 2016 World Cup. Well done. <laughs> right, he can punch him and crack him. Um, and then can blitz him to try and get him off. So swap them around. I can't swap them around because he has to be strength 5. This is horrible, isn't it? Having to punch these guys. Maybe I just don't. Maybe I just give them three guys to chew on. And blitz the guys I might hurt. Great having two hands, isn't it? Blitz in with mighty blow, run back. Have the line collapsed with all the guard that I can't do anything about, but at least it's in one place. over here looks like it's not possible let's take a, a note out of KFOG's book Oh yeah, I could have still put the strength fives on them and punched them, couldn't I? That might have been an idea. Or one strength five, at least. <laughs> uh, no, you know, I found it very surprising, uh, honestly, watching PTK in the blitz pit, um, not maximizing blocks and stuff. Which I pretty much always do. And most pretty people pretty much always do. Um, I've got no idea Targaryen Tantrum. No idea. Right, let's see if this works now. Honestly, I've got no idea, I think. I don't know if I wrote them and asked them or if they just it just happened. I've got literally no idea. I think, no, I think you can just do it anyway. You can just do it at any time. You can just do it at any time, can't you? I don't think you need anything to be able to monetize on YouTube. You can just monetize. You can just be like, Bosh. I'm pretty certain. Can't fucking make these work. Pissed off. Hey, a stupid, a stupid beast that might let us fight back a little bit. Hey. And the the text to speech turn on because people will be in prats. Wee 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 wee. There you go. I don't think you've got the. You, you, you do have to hit those targets. I don't know then. I've got no idea. I had no idea though. Were... No, I, no, I don't think you did have to hit those targets. I think when I got monetized, you didn't have to. I don't think you had to hit those targets when I got monetized. Because I remember, uh, I remember a certain other person was begging people to sub to the YouTube so they could monetize it. So, I'm pretty sure I didn't have to. I'm pretty sure I just monetized it. 
so before my day. <laughs> I mean, after my day, whatever. Yeah, sorry, Necropotent. You need to blame the people who uh, can't stop themselves being sea nuts. <laughs> John Sea Nut. <laughs> He was always going to greed that, wasn't he? Sadly. Didn't kill him! Didn't even break AV! What the fuck? Didn't even break AV! What is this sorcery? Holy moly. I don't believe it. <laughs> Do I go for the uh, uphill surf on a Nurgle Warrior? <laughs> Sounds funny. <laughs> it Sounds funny to go for the uphill surf <laughs> on a Nurgle Warrior. <laughs> it seems like something only a fucking idiot would do. Which means it's an option. No, I won't do it. Can fight back in the centre here a little bit. I'd love to have done it like, to be fair, the old the old uphill surf of a Nurgle warrior would have been pretty funny. But uh let's be serious for a minute. Ah, oh, so I've I've got four heroes, let's go. Might strand the beast. Baby. Undead team's fine. Zoom. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. <laughs> it would have been real fun to have gone for the uphill. Yeah, maybe I should have done it. It was a pretty much a 1% player, wasn't it? Uphill Lorna Surf. Would have been pretty funny. Had it worked. But getting to punch the people in the middle seemed alright. Potentially uh, isolating the beast as well, or at least making them think about triggering the beast. And at least by going for the strength 5 it means the tackler is now free to hit the claw pommer. <laughs> he's free to hit him, but he's not going to let him. Yeah, I, I, I think if it wasn't for dwarves, it would be super powerful. <laughs> Could have got the one in nine there, couldn't need to not activate the beast, that would have been nice. And he would have had to move the caretaker and whatever. Um, 
Was it in the old edition, Mighty Bush? I mean, they, they gave some, like, they gave, like, Monstrous Mouth was a star player only, so I don't know if there was a star player that had Ironheart skin or if they've just made it new. Um, but they, they just they just had to, they had to scramble to make extra skills just so they could make a D12 chart for fucking randomising skills. That's how stupid it was. That's how, that's how dumb the game is. <laughs> So there you go. Yeah, Swarm is really super amazing. Alright, punch him. <laughs> Fantastic mighty ball. Now this is two two assists, isn't it? So that could he could punch him and free the crocs. Could get the crocs in there, what would that mean? Means he couldn't fucking hit him because of all the guard. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't do it. I knew I need an extra skin to run, run all the way around. Can you get to there? Yeah, good. I hope you would be able to. Could one or him. We could get in front here, quite like that actually. Uh, just D3. You just roll the D3. Yeah, only Snotland's got it. Yeah, swarm swarm is gonna be pretty great for Underworld. Like having a real like having a gutter runner and a storm vermin or like the star gutter or the uh you know glart whatever, having like actual good players with fourteen players on the pitch is pretty good. Um Oh wow, look at this! This is like Mighty Bone not working for about three turns in a row. Incredible. What source it's literally three knockdowns, but three non AV breaks. Actual dice being random, incredible. What a day to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking glorious. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, it doesn't really work with snotlings and ogres, does it? Because, like, ogres are so bad. And like snotlings are so bad, it doesn't really work with those. But it, it's pretty good with Underworld. Pretty good with Underworld. Um, having actual good players and 14 players. That was disappointingly good play by him, wasn't it? <laughs> Getting the extra guarder in, that is that was disappointing. I was hoping he'd play worse than that. <laughs>
Так. Could go for the surf here, couldn't I? Tag him. I doesn't matter if he's tagged or not. Punch him. <laughs> Blitz him, block him off. But I need two assists. And then it just seems shit and not really possible. Don't roll a quad skull. Good. <laughs> Get fucked. Disappointing, isn't it? Don't have to put a real skink there, but I guess there's no choice. Block, hasn't he? Yikes. Got him. Oh, got him. The removals! The removals are fucking coming home to roost! Glorious! Can screen off his beast a little bit now, kind of. <laughs> Actual good luck this half, eh? Sometimes lucky. Oh, and another one! Get up there! <laughs> Hello, Satatod. Your prize is you don't get timed out. Fuck off. <laughs> um, Ogres have Noblars. They don't have Swarming. So, are they? Oh, yeah, they have Noblars. Oh, I didn't look to see if they were runs or whatever. I honestly, I honestly didn't even look at the. Uh, I didn't even look at the Ogre page. That's bad of me, isn't it? But. It was so shit I didn't even bother. Ogres. Noblar linemen, yeah. I mean, they've got the same stat. Oh, so they might not even have the same stat line as Snotlings, do they? Alright, let's have a look then. Are they the same as Snotlings? 51356. 51356. Five, Dodge, don't you? Sidesteps, don't you? Titchy. <coughs> Oh, fuck me. Titchy, yeah. Snotling gets swarming. So Snotling are strictly better than Nobler Linemen. Yep, Snotling are strictly better than uh, Noblars. Crazy. And Underworld Snotlings are even better because they get mutations on normals. <laughs> Thanks. I'd be okay with that. <laughs> yeah, like fair enough Underworld Snotlings being strictly better to normal Snotlings in the way that Underworld Blitzers were nearly strictly better um, before. But now that's undisputed. Oh, one D pow. Le plim plum pow. Classic. Come on. 
Good job, made it three dice. Thank you very much. Pal here would be real nice. Good. Him up there, don't I? And one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, him down there. Him up there. Him down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About here. Looks good. Now for the first Lorna block. Does the job. And now the second loaner block. Ha <laughs> get fucked, idiot. <laughs> get knocked the fuck out by a loner skink. Get up. Oh, I'm diced the fuck out of him this half, haven't I? Glorious dicing. Di isn't it funny how dicing people is so fun? And, like, getting diced is so fucking horrible. But dicing somebody is, like, the most fun. It's incredible. Not like it's it's nice when the dice goes they should, but when you die somebody, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> it's it's so good. <laughs> Hello, Papa Piccolo. Yeah, yeah, that's the the one percent's looking pretty good. Yeah, if pump wagons weren't really stupid, they'd be really good, I think. But you just can't have four really stupid people. You just can't have four... Hey, really stupid. I rolled a one anyway. You just cannot have four really stupid players on a team, can you? Hello, Jelly Deals. That is that is the problem. I <laughs> know, yeah, risky. Risky enjoying the old Blood Bowl. Oh, he makes the dodge. Oh, dodging with this Nurgle Warrior! <laughs> I just wanted to start with that instantly, even though it was pretty irrelevant. <laughs> oh, look at this mighty blow doing something. Outrageous. He can go there, that's alright, isn't it? Gotta blitz him. Oh, fouled him. Who could foul him? Ooh. That is an option, isn't it? Pretty disappointing only getting the push means got to defend the ball at least a little bit. from him. Keep him tied up. He's already tied up. <laughs> Don't get lost. Fuck him up. Did not fuck him up. <laughs> well played. I'll still say thanks. I thought I played quite well in the first half where there was some adversity, but obviously second half managed to just make a bunch of removals and it was a piece of piss. Could still fuck it up. He could still surf the ball, couldn't he? Which probably shouldn't have let him have the chance to surf the ball.
but I really want to make that foul. Really wanted to make that foul. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. And I guess I should have fouled from the corner here, shouldn't I? And then it would have been harder to dodge through for the serve. They have, yes, Jaleel, the entirety of the rules have been leaked, thanks to some mad arse on the internet. And uh, it's looking pretty good for dwarfs. Fair enough, Jaleel, fair enough. Hey, he's only got one reroll left. He puts it straight in. Phew. Let's make Dio proud. Make the instant, instant first move over there. Right. Yeesh. This does make this one three dice, though. <laughs> He's there, good. Cheeky hey. wanna? Yeah, boy. Classic, classic dice when you win in, isn't it? No, I tried to, I tried to farm my own guy. No, sneaky gits are not going to be a thing. I mean, I mean, I guess what's it called? Could uh, gobbles could right starting with a dirty player. Uh, star players are cool. Star players are cool. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it's going to be a thing, but I guess technically possible. There was the whole the whole rulebook was leaked uh, later gone. On the internet. Right, he's got one guy stood up. So, how many five assists? Yeah, unfortunately, Muppet Pack Man. I mean, I guess I should just hand it off. It was nil nil, though, so you've got to be sensible, haven't you? You've got to be sensible. Yeah, but it's, so, it's 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 spending the SBPs and TV on it, isn't it? It's it's better than it used to be. I'll give it that. It's better than it used to be. Yes, Milky with a C. Yep. Yes, it is. Yes, it did. Uh, no doubt it's better than it used to be. 
Like you can't, like it, it halves your chance to get sent off basically. The anti-guard skill will never get picked unless it's a, uh, it's a league where, like unless there's no redrafting or seasons. Redrafting and seasons changes everything basically. Everything changes based on how long the season is and whether there's a cap on redrafting. So that makes, like there's no rules anymore. Not that there really were rules, but stuff like, even stuff like block first on a Saurus is no longer, well, okay, that's a bad example. But like, <laughs> the fact you can choose on skinks, right? Block first on a skink is not, is not a rule because you could do, depending on the environment, you could go for, you could save up for a skill, you could save up for a stat, or you could just take a random agility, or you could take a random general, depending. So there's lo all sorts of things you could do. Oh, fuck off. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, CCL, if, if CCL doesn't have seasons, it's going to be tragic. Because it's going to be sculpted 3k perfect teams. Which are going to be like you like Sage's major winning Wood Elf team. It's going to be mental if there's no seasons in CCL. Um, if there are seasons in CTL, CCL, then it's all going to depend on how long the seasons are and whether there's a cap and what the cap is. No, it's all been deleted. Mm. I guess they weren't adding anything. It's okay to show it on a on a stream because you like it's fair use, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure talking about it in a video is fine because it's fair use, right? I mean, other people have done it, so. Commentary and criticism. Public reaps benefit from my review, which is enhanced by including some of the copyright materials. That's definitely what's happened. Commentary and criticism covers fair use, hundred percent. Hello, Kilmatronics. Roll a one. Yes. <laughs> right. So he's not in range. Well, these guys aren't in range. <laughs> They're not actually in range. Right. It's the only thing to do. Is pick up the ball and run away. Why? I don't know. He can't blitz anybody. Get out of blitz range. That's the only important thing, isn't it? Fuck, I want to get him out of range. Right, so he's out of range. Might as well make it harder for these guys to get punched. Right, and it's your job to get the ball. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, boo. Oh, Lorna works. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. There was no need to do that because I could have just let him score, couldn't I? But it was funny. It was funny to just take the ball and fuck off. Players can still die, but it's a lot harder to die now. Yeah, I guess with, with Reddit. No, I don't know, Reddit. 
Reddit wasn't Reddit was just sharing it, weren't they? They weren't enhancing it, whereas I was enhancing it by talking about it. So. <laughs> it was funny, just taking the ball and fucking off. Does he not know that it's over? As he went for me to say GG. I'll say GG. I'm down. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have gone for the throw, yeah. I guess I could have gone for his, uh, a handoff in amongst all that, but I don't know, he still had people who could dodge around and I would. If I'd been 1-0 up, I would have gone for Soros handoff, 100%, but... 120. Let's not buy either of these two. Ha ha ha, Jones Payne gets the MVP of the level! Still didn't, still didn't have as many armour breaks, but obviously it was brutal the second half, wasn't it? It was crazy. Four KOs and a Kaz, just all in the second half as well. Just mullered him. Absolute dicing. 14 boneheads again. <laughs> 28 boneheads in a row past. <laughs> Loads of GFIs. Loads of foul appearances. What an incredible... Loads of dodges. What an incredible, incredible game. 28, 35, 30. 40? No, 30, 32. 33. So he didn't have bad block dice at all. His really stupid was 4 plus a lot of the time as well, to be fair. And his dodges were hard, but still, it was incredible. There were some, there were some lovely dice rolls there. Can't complain about that one at all. God, I could have had a whole team of dodge saurus here. Right, he's definitely getting guard. Yeah, I, I guess I really should have tried to get the touchdown on Tony, shouldn't I? Never mind. Um, <laughs> yes, Eric behind me, yeah. There you go, 10-0. What a what a start. Incredible. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.